Hey guys, welcome back. Merry Christmas. Jesse and I have been busy, but we got some new toys. We got some new builds to share with you coming up. This is going to be the last one of the year. We put a little bit of, throw a little bit of money at, then we'll start some cool builds next year. But anyway, let's check this guy out. Okay guys, anyway, yeah, we have the new Traxxas TRX4 High Trail Edition on the bench tonight. We're going to take a look at that. We've already gone ahead and put the Traxxas roll bar on the back. We've done the rock lights underneath, the Pro Scale Light Kit with the headlights and the tail lights and the turn signals and all that. You can check that out in our other video with our uh, 2021 Bronco we did the Pro Scale Light Kit in. Pretty much the same truck underneath, so we didn't need to film putting that in. Um, the roll bar, I do want to, I did watch a lot of videos on it. There is some bad information on YouTube, um, so we'll just clear it up right now. They do mark out the holes to do the dimples at uh, seven millimeter and 13 millimeter hole. If you have a step bit, you can measure them and do them or just take your time because we just have a beveled one. But a lot of guys are saying it doesn't line up if you put them on the holes but that's because the bar has a natural little bit of a bend to the plastic if you don't put the holes in where it tells you to and you make them fit where it's bent it sits at a goofy angle and i looked at a lot of the trucks and it's not sitting at the right angle it needs to sit nice and straight and nice and straight it doesn't need to sit like this or like that and stuff so make sure you use the dimples on the body and follow instructions, they are accurate. You do need to bend it a little bit as you pop it into the holes, but it's a good fit. So clear that up, get that out of the way. Uh, part number is 9262 for the roll bar. And uh, yeah, let's move on from there. Show the back, looks pretty good. USA 1 type plate on it, looking good. I like it, um, no complaints. Um, we did have an issue with the windshield decal, but Traxxas sent us out a new decal sheet. We changed it out. Life's better, so move on with that. Uh, the chrome trim, it's chrome, so it doesn't flex nicely, so it's wrinkly and crinkly all over. I don't know if we're going to keep it or maybe just go to a silver vinyl or a gold vinyl or something to kind of change it up, but um, it is what it is. Truck looks good anyway. Uh, specs on that is a 13.2 inch wheelbase. And it does come already with the Traxxas uh, long arm lift kit installed, much like our uh, lifted Bronco with that we did the kit on a couple of years back. Um, 2.2 tires, or 2.2 wheels and tires, with a very nice offset. It is a equivalent, if you were to put them on another set of like vanquished wheels, it's like a 725 offset, it's pretty heavy, so. Um, it does fit with the whole look of the truck with like the top angle and such with the tire poke and you know it looks really good i like it um 2.2 canyon trail tire and the canyon trail is a fantastic tire so this 2.2 will be cool to check out it does have these cool scale hubs on it and of course it is a trx4 so it has a two speed with the locking differentials and i think it's going to be pretty cool so uh, one thing that did, uh, we did help sell it. You'll notice there's no body pins. I wasn't kind of in the market for another TRX4, Jesse, and I have a dozen of them at this point, and they just keep popping out. So um, we're really looking for it. We're just, I got this from the wife for Christmas. She was looking to buy me a gift, and I said, well, let's go with this one. Mainly the fact is it doesn't have the body posts, and we're a big fan of this new clipless system that they're rocking very cool the way the pro scale light system works with it all one harness unplug that guy Oop, body's free Disconnect the battery. Uh, yeah nothing to see here guys pretty typical um, TRX4 the bottom side we got the long arm lift so it gives you the longer shocks the 100 uh, millimeter shocks, the longer links all the way around, a drop bracket for the panard. Can you see that? 
There's a drop bracket that bolts into the panard and it also lowers the servo. Look at, he's sitting way down there instead of up to the top here where he usually sits. So they've thought of everything, the geometry when they did this lift kit on the truck and it makes it kick ass. Um, these tires do rub a little bit on the body. They do have a very, they have a, what you call a scrub radius because of the offset. So they kind of scrub a little bit as they go. But we're going to completely ruin that and uh, make it much worse in a few minutes. So let's uh, put this over here. Um, yeah, so there's a clipless body system on the truck, bolt through the grill on the front and through the tail light pieces on the rear. It's pretty decent. Um, there are some foam blocks above these guys. We added a, a, an extra little bit of foam to kind of give them some tension because we noticed it's a little bit floppy. Um, the one thing we have not got working on the Pro Scale light kit would be these marker lights. I might have to give them a call. I don't know if we're missing something, but um, they don't do anything, period. So I kind of figured they'd be on as a marking light, like a running light, but they literally do nothing. So. Um, yeah, anyhow. Anything else? Yeah, no. Pro Scale module here. Oh, uh, so. <clears throat> Let's talk about the light kits we use to pull this off because they do not make a light kit for the K10 or the Cheyenne 10 if you would. So we used the Traxxas Pro Scale light kit for the 1979 Chevrolet Blazer. And so you just basically, um, how do I explain this? Uh, the Pro Scale light kit is not for, they have one for the 2021 Bronco and then they have one for all the other trucks. You buy the one for all the other trucks, then you buy an installation kit for said vehicle. So installation kit you will need for the Blazer for this K10 is your part number 8082. That gives you this mounting bracket, which you will need to modify because that body does not have the roll cage. All you gotta do is cut the top of it off and then just double-sided tape it to the side of the body where it fits the contour, pretty simple. And when they do, when you buy the mounting kit, it also comes with the reverse lights. The Pro Scale kit only comes with the brake lights because they don't know exactly which one it's going to go into, right? So, um, then the light kit we used is 8039. Now, you do not need to buy the other, there's another light kit for the Blazer that comes with the power distribution block, it's the more expensive one. You need the one without the power distribution block if you're going to use the Pro Scale kit. We went over all this in another video, but I just want to help you guys out with putting which light kit into this truck. So use the one for the 1979 Blazer and you're good to go. Uh, part number for that truck is 82076-4. Just look up parts underneath that truck's part listing. I think it covers it all pretty good. Um, everything goes in very standard. Um, we do recommend Traxxas and everybody, if you're going to use ProScale like it, use the wireless or Bluetooth module on the radio to control that stuff. Now, let's make this truck scream America. America, America. Perfect. Okay, so, stop by Eliminator. The other seat, uh... Okay, so we stopped over to Eliminator the other day. And I said, what are the chances you can get me some 2.2 wheels? And he said, what if I told you I had some brand new Vanquish 2.2 IFR ring ready in stock. IFR? Yeah, IFR ring ready. In stock, ready to go for you. So I bought two sets of these and we bought the biggest, nastiest tire he had on hand. Besides, of course, a bogger, but <laughs> we went with the Proline. Part number 10203-14, Mickey Thompson, Baja Pro X's. Nice, big, meaty tire. Gonna be great for winter, spring. What are the seasons we get here? Mud, mud, mud. cold mud. Cold mud. Mosquitoes, Mosquitoes and wet. Mosquitoes and wet. So this would be great for where Jesse and I play with our trucks. So it's got mosquito flinging lugs right here in the middle. Very cool ped, uh, very cool ped trattern. So yeah, NEL, uh, pretty stoked to get the 2.2 IFR, or 2.2 wheels that are IFR ready. The IFR 
I hope I'm saying that right, is the ring that goes on the inside. You can change the different colors of them. Of course, they're not tagged because they're right from Vanquish. But these rings here, they have different styles and different colors, and they kind of drop underneath like that into the wheel. I'm sure we have a bunch of trucks. You guys have seen them on Pennywise and such like that. Okay, so we're going to show you guys how to mount these. Um, a little bit more fatter tire, more foam to deal with. We're gonna do the typical bevel cut the foam, put it together, hammer it down, and roll it out. We'll show you how to do one real quickly. We're not gonna vent these tires. They're gonna be an outside kind of bashing, ripping tire. I'm hoping they don't cave in when they hit the cold when we go inside, but we'll see how it plays. We might have to put a couple vent holes in them, but anyhow, let's put it together. Fresh, sharp blade, open that up guys. And then we gotta give that a bevel cut. So of course, naturally, the rings don't come put on the front. We put them on the front. Uh, we couldn't decide on black or gold scale hardware, so we're just gonna leave these ones silver, kind of go with the look of the truck. So. Uh, Vanquish wheels are a 332nd and a 116th driver. Three thirty two. Good. What's happening? Sushi. Make sure when you put the foam in, you pull the foam. Pull, pull, pull. Get it sitting in the tire. So we bevel cut the foam like we do on all of them so the tire doesn't pinch the two halves coming together. Drop them in, rotate, right? Bloop, bloop, done, easy. I need a front and the back, so I got no both fronts, so left and right will work. I like to put in the face first because you need to line up the five holes. It's actually easier to drop this guy in and twist and line it up than it is with this guy with that, so face in first, push it down, wiggle it, just kind of go back. Pull the rubber, make sure it's not pinched anywhere. You got that machine. You got the wheel machine.
Okay, get it lined up like so. There's a couple ways to do this. You don't want to push some gets where you can get some pressure on it. We'll take it off the mat so we don't trash the mat with all the hardware. We'll go onto here. You can use an edgy actual pit mat if you want, but we know this is a plastic covered surface. It's not going to scratch the wheel. The wheels damage them first. So now with some smaller one nine wheels. It might be easier to put like a acrylic thing of like a little shorty can of like this little glass acrylic ones of paint we use where you can get to kind of pull the tire down around it but these wheels are inch and a quarter wide so no problem there get your loctite ready Let's go to Home Depot. I'm also curious why there's more Loctite on the outside of this container than there ever was on the inside. It's like it's just the way it goes. <laughs> I'm here. I'm Loctite. <laughs> now, if you like have trouble getting it in and down you can use a longer screw for the time being to push it in but you don't have a lot of room on this 2.2 face so you don't want to just man up and get it watch like as you're pushing like this with your fingers you're pushing the rubber back so watch that you're um, not tightening it up with your hands or you see that little bit of a pull there so I like to push them back in and then just kind of move my fingers around as I tighten it up get two screws in opposing so you can hold that ring down you don't want to go through make sure your rubber isn't pinched anywhere goofy you got that little lip like that all the way around so make sure that guy's even happy front and back everything's good then you can lock that down uh, the hubs we're gonna use vanquish I believe they're 725s yeah SLW 725 now, I originally grabbed some 475s because we usually run 350s. So we grabbed some 475s thinking they'd be big enough. They're nowhere near it. So uh, Ryan bored me a bunch of sets he had, 600, 725, 850 or something like that. We grabbed them and uh, we ended up at seven and a quarter to get the offset we need. So this tire sits pretty much where the factory tire looked. And uh, I think it's gonna look fantastic on there, especially the black hubs with the Cool look. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to put this together. We will see you outside for some nighttime snow bashing. <laughs>